back. So we're waiting to see what the decision is. Of course, you are going through the history of this matter, uh, Cliff. And what it represents. Yes. Yes. This is something that, as I said, the word is polarizing. There are people who are passionate in their belief that he should be freed. Others who say no. You did the crime, you must do the time. Yes? The country is uh, split. Yes? But there are a lot of people, a lot of people who are hoping, yes, that he will be granted bail and he will be going home this evening. While there are a lot of others who are saying, hell no. And, and, and it, it's about what it would represent uh, for the Jamaican state. I've long said, uh, having watched the Privy Council hearings, uh, that it, 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 it was a significant blow for the administration of justice for the Privy Council to say that the matter had to be sent back and those convictions overturned. Of course, the state would have marshaled significant resources. Here it is. She now have it. No bail. No bail. Anisha Palmer at 48 years old do i have that right i believe he's 48 yes at 48 years old no bail justice andrea thomas has rejected the application for the writ of habeas corpus she will not she will not be setting five cartel and his two sean campbell and andre st john free yeah. No bail has been granted, listener. She has rejected the application, the high-profile application brought by Isaac Buchanan in the Supreme Court. Our reporter is telling us Justice Andrew Thomas has rejected it. No bail. Cartel will remain incarcerated pending the outcome of the appeal in the Court of Appeal. That's set for June 10, over five days. He will not walk free while they determine whether uh, there should be a retrial. They will spend another night at the Tor Street Adult Correctional Center. They have been incarcerated since 2011 after being charged in the disappearance and murder of Clive Lizard Williams. Their trial back then lasted all of 65 days at the time. One of the longest, longest years in Jamaican history. And then they were finally convicted in 2014. He was sentenced as cartel to life imprisonment with eligibility for parole after 35 years. Campbell and Jones are eligible for parole after serving 25 years and St. John after 15 years. But in March this year, the Privy Council overturned the convictions and ordered that the case be remitted to Jamaica's appeal court to decide whether a retrial is necessary. That determination is now scheduled for June 10. I said Buchanan and the team of lawyers were hoping that given that the conviction was quashed, that they would be set free from the confines of the prison. And now we have more from the judge's uh, decision. She's saying the detention is not in breach of the Jamaican Constitution. Still going through her reasoning, but at five minutes after three, the news out of the Supreme Court is that Justice Andrea Thomas has denied, she has denied the writ uh, for habeas corpus to have cartel and two of the gentlemen who are incarcerated alongside him released. Yes, she's saying there's no breach of the Constitution and therefore she will not. She will not accept the arguments advanced by Isaac Buchanan. He will have to wait. He'll have to wait. The, the determination of the Court of Appeal. Yes. The verdict. Yeah, and that, of course, the hearing set for June 10. Yes. And then, of course, they'll have to consider what will be significant arguments, Marshall. I imagine, listeners, you'd recall that even the Privy Council said the amount of information they had to go through in coming to their decision was significant. So you can expect that in the Court of Appeal on this retrial hearing, that will also be uh, significant. And just to get some reactions quickly from our YouTube channel, Nationwide 90 FM Live, Herman Carter Hyatt says, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, Hallelujah.